Mr. President. Senator from New Mexico. Uh, Mr. President, I would ask unanimous consent to speak as if in morning business. Without objection. Mr. President, I rise today to recognize Dr. Joseph Sweena for his service to our nation. Dr. Sweena is a former Cochiti de Pueblo governor, a University of New Mexico professor emeritus, and a Vietnam and Marine Corps veteran. Recognition of Dr. Sweena's service is long overdue. But before I speak about his military service, I want to take a moment to recognize what Dr. Sweena's decades of leadership have meant for Cochiti de Pueblo and for New Mexico as a whole. Over the course of his life, Dr. Sweena has served as a governor for his Pueblo and a tribal council member. He also served as the president and CEO of the Cochiti Community Development Corporation and as the chair of the Cochiti Language Revi Revival Committee. But before all of that, Dr. Sweena grew up in Cochiti Pueblo within the adobe walls of his grandmother's home. He has recounted the nights she would sing to him in their native language and tell him stories of her childhood well before electricity and cars had made their way to the Pueblo. As a young boy, he was shunned by his teachers for speaking his native language at school and experienced the stark contrast between the teachings of his grandmother and those of his non-native teachers. Through it all, Dr. Sweena found strength in his culture, later leading him to become a champion for keeping indigenous language and culture at the center of Native American education policy. Dr. Sweena worked for decades as a professor in the University of New Mexico's College of Education, and he directed the Institute for American Indian Education, serving tribes across the Southwest. His scholarship focused on how maintaining connection to tradition, culture, and language improves educational outcomes for Native students. He also developed new methods for assessing student learning and training programs for educators who teach Native students. And over the years, Dr. Sweena has mentored countless teachers whose work continues to make a difference for New Mexico's children and children throughout the entire Southwest. You can see the results of his work in so many communities, but especially in his home community of Cochiti de Pueblo and at the Caras Children's Learning Center. The center is an indigenous language revitalization school that has become one of the very best early childhood and primary education centers in the entire country. It is a living testimony to Dr. Sweena's visionary leadership in education. The legacy of Dr. Sweeney's life of service to Cochiti de Pueblo, to New Mexico, and to our nation will be felt for generations to come. And today, I would also like to recognize Dr. Sweeney's service to our nation as a Marine. In the early 1960s, just three days out of high school, Dr. Sweeney enlisted in the United States Marine Corps. He went on to serve two tours of duty in, Viet duty in Vietnam in 1964 and in 1966. He was wounded in his second tour and earned a Purple Heart on March 22, 1966. He was honorably discharged with the rank of sergeant. Tomorrow, Dr. Sweeney's friends and family members are, getting, are gathering together at the New Mexico Veterans Memorial in Albuquerque to recognize his service to the nation. And I am honored to have helped play a role in retrieving the medals that Dr. Sweena earned as a Marine and that he will receive at that gathering. You see, back in the 1970s, Dr. Sweena's house was broken into and his service medals were stolen. As I mentioned earlier, Dr. Sweena earned the Purple Heart Medal, which was one of the nation's oldest and most distinguished medals. The Purple Heart is awarded to U.S. service members who have been wounded or killed as a result of enemy action. Dr. Sweena also earned the following awards, the Combat Action Ribbon, the Marine Corps Good Combat Medal, the National Defense Service Medal, 
the Armed Forces Expeditionary Medal, Vietnam Service Medal, Rifle Sharpshooter's Badge, Pistol Expert Badge, and he also earned a Gallantry Cross Medal from the Republic of Vietnam. I was deeply honored to help retrieve these medals that recognize Dr. Sweena's incredible bravery and sacrifices. And before I finish, I also want to commend Dr. Sweena for the ways that he has raised the visibility of the physical and often invisible wounds that impact veterans with PTSD. In recent years, Dr. Sweena has spoken about how he saw these wounds in himself, in his fellow Vietnam veterans, and in the veterans of his father's generation who served in World War II. Many of these veterans have come home with trauma that went unrecognized. And I am so appreciative that Dr. Sweena is working to bring recognition and healing to himself and to his fellow veterans. And on behalf of so many New Mexicans and so many Americans, I want to express just how profoundly grateful we are for Dr. Sweena's lifetime of courage and of service. Thank you, Mr.